What up, everybody? This is your boy DJ Mixmaster. Welcome back to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. So, last video we finished off Rumble Down Under and ended up recruiting our first guy for the uh, Cooper Vault job, that being the Guru. So now, we're on our way to. Actually, let's not spoil it, but we're on our way to uh, recruit our second. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a flight of fancy. Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. So Carmelita is here. Let's see if I can buy anything. Probably not. The hover pack. That's actually going to prove useful in this episode. And I'll need to eventually get that as well. We'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. 
In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Ah, there he is. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. That true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. Well, we can't use violence, so let's go with logical. We both know you're going to tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk, so spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down a little. Well, to calm him down, we gotta make him feel good, so we'll compliment him. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk of flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. This guy's a real nut job. Not sure I want to owe him. So, if we refuse, then he's gonna back out. So let's offer him a bribe, shall we? Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not Federal Reserve. Alright, fine. We'll agree to it. Okay, Dimitri. Book me up with a flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <gasps> Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Now, we all know that 
that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hiding. <laughs> like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. <laughs> Or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles, eh? <laughs> they don't lock the front door to the hotel. This isn't a jail, but you heard the Baron. Once outside, things will get dangerous. to watch out for the blip as well. And that thing. Huge wolf. I need to get coins because... And that's the reason why. He will chase down anyone. And he just roams this general area. But we need to get coins as soon as possible because I'm going to absolutely need the paraglider. So here's his hangar. I won't be able to get inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. The competition starts tomorrow. Where are all my guards? Asleep? Watching TV? Bother paying them at all if they're going to lounge them out like common tourists. I tell you, Christoph, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition. The best luck without danger, truly. I'm not saying that, truly. This is going to be our finest victory ever. Yes, yes, tomorrow. Psst, Sly! Hey, Sly! Sly, are you up there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. 
But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on, I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Those. Okay, so we did the first one. Second one, boom, that's easy. Right there. So, let's go ahead and have Mary out first. Looks like hard partying Team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing! This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. 
If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man, you've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical! <laughs> Watch out for the mines. one here. Let's just bang on the door. Oh, no, everyone there is asleep. I'm not gonna wake them all up. Those guys will shoot at us tomorrow if we do that. Nice work. Head back to Murray and the raft. Fine. We'll just go down to the front desk and ask for a spare. And you can forget about me being your wingman. Thank you. 
gates changed position. We need to escape through another tunnel. But fear not, the Murray has an unnatural sense of direction. Okay, have to be careful. Here. Yeah, man. No, 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 no. Oh, we're staying. We're staying. We're staying. Because if, if I tried it now. So far, so good. Now comes the hard part. Woo! All right. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, yeah. You good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, pal. Can do with a vengeance. Make it to the hangar. Oh. <laughs> 
And while we have Mary out and about. been working to get our hangar security devices online, and they're almost operational. Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stand watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Fear not, Brainiac chum! You'll be safe while my fists are on... duty? Greetings, troglodytes! Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City. I figure you jokes let me smash up your aeroplane and we're even. You in what army, dumb guy? Army? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, boys. I paid you up good enough. Time to crack some skulls. Murray, you can't hurt Mugshot with your fists. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. This is just the beginning of a really bad day. Bloodshot wasn't making idle threats. I'm reading multiple hostiles moving through the sewers toward our position. Fortunately, my security devices are almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Let's see, I can switch between computers by moving the left analog stick. And now to test the security by pressing the triangle button, circle button, X button, or square button. I can activate the traps for the currently selected sewer. They appear to take a few seconds to recharge after being triggered. Looks like they're working perfectly. And right. The Cooper plane is as safe as a baby in its aircraft hangar crib. group, Murray, but it looks like more are on the way, and they're packing explosives.
Dang, I messed up. Okay. to intimidate us. Looks like he's got muscle and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Penelope, do you read me? Are you out there? I read you, Bentley. Uh, this is sort of an awkward first face-to-face, -face, but... But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous beat-up Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double-crossers hurt your team's plane. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says. Don't worry, Bentley. I'll keep those traitorous guards from damaging your hangar. Oh, wait! I just installed a Yank 86 and haven't had time to read the specs. Are you familiar with the device? Absolutely. Just hit the X button to lower your cable and grab opponents. Follow the arrow to find enemies. Use the R1 button to kick on the thrusters and yank things off the ground. Sweet! I'll teach those chumps not to sell out the Black Baron. Some enemies require a few yanks to defeat. To maximize your power, boost in one direction, pull on the cable, then turn around and boost the other way. Yeah, these guys are heavy. Penelope, I'm detecting incoming tanks. They could do some serious damage to our hangar. Follow the arrow to find their location. Affirmative. Those tanks are heavy. You'll have to boost back and forth several times. He wasn't so tough. <laughs> okay. Eat it, mugshot stoolie.
Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunny for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. Well, that's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. Okay, Murray, no pressure. But you've got to find a Team Belgian pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. If they notice being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? <laughs> I need to get this sourpuss laughing. Let's go with an impression. That Baron! He's always, I love flying. Don't go outside. Listen to me. I'm so smart. I'm the boss. My mustache is so macho. <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? Historical? What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy! Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I... I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. How about physical? Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? ta -da! Hey, fish! Duck! I need help! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. 
<laughs> nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. It's a good start, but the truck just powered up its automated defenses. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could get sticky. Find a guard. Okay, come on.
Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Wait for it to come around. There you go, keep coming. Almost time for the semi-finals. Stay sharp, Sly. Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered. Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great. Me. Woo! Nope, no, let's not do that. Don't want to stall out. Uh, 
All right. See anything? Six more. <laughs> Crashed into your own guy. Ah! Don't need to stall out. Nice, got back. Almost there. Only three more left. Go, baby, yeah! Likes the slides flying, we're officially in the Aces Finals. Our opponents, Team Mugshot, and Team Black Baron. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Our only real competition will be Mugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you find and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the fight. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers, and has been known to bring in a squad of limp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the Guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll be more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. Alright y'all, so with the first day out of the way, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Before we sign off, go ahead and buy the paraglider because we are going to need it. So like and comment on the video, subscribe for more gameplay, and with that, see ya. Peace.